Hi, I'm Michelle with BWI of Atlanta and this is a ring sling seat making tips and tricks video. One of the most difficult parts of using a ring sling is getting a good deep seat. When you put your baby in a ring sling, you want to make sure that the fabric is spread knee to knee and that the seat is nice and deep, meaning that the knees are at hip level or higher. I'm going to cover a few of the different ways to get baby into a good deep seat, starting with a front carry for a newborn. You're going to have to pretend that my toddler is a newborn. I'm going to get baby up onto burp position on your shoulder, and every time I use your ring sling, no matter how old the kid, I, I always lean back when I stick my baby on my shoulder, like this. Alright, so I've leaned back. I'm going to put the legs through the sling. Move my sling around just a little bit because it's a little too low. I'm going to take the top of the sling, the top edge, the rail, hike it all the way up to baby's neck, and then I'm going to take the bottom here and tuck it underneath my baby, pushing the legs up at the same time and pushing the knees up. Then I'm going to just let the baby's weight settle into the sling, making sure that we have good coverage in the sling. Then I will tighten. Dad, dad. And that's how you get a front carry with a newborn, with my pretend newborn, in a ring sling. Alright, so here are some tips for getting good seats with larger children. These are best suited for babies who are able to sit supported. They've got some trunk control. One of the ways of getting a baby into a good deep seat is pulling the fabric up between you and your child when the baby's in the sling. What does that mean? I'm going to loosen just a little bit. I'm going to get baby into the sling. Baby goes in. I pull the fabric top edge all the way up to his neck, I'm going to settle him into the seat, and then I'm going to reach into the sling between him and me, grab the bottom rail, and hike up. And as you can see, this pulls the knees up into a deep seated position. And then I will tighten the sling. When using a ring sling, you want to make sure that the top and bottom rails are tight enough to support the baby. Uh, they are tight enough to support the baby, but not so tight that they cut off circulation. I'm always going to check a little bit to see how much weight exactly is resting on the bottom rail. You want a little bit of weight, but not too much. You don't want to be holding your baby's entire uh, body weight on the bottom rail. You want the top and bottom rail to be snug and then the middle to be a little more loose so that they have a deep hammock. It looks like my baby's going to be teaching you guys too. The second way of getting your baby in is what has been coined on the baby wear as your, the fill your bra method. Essentially what you're going to do is you're going to get your baby into the sling, then lean over and let their weight hang in the hammock part of the sling as you finish creating the seat. I'm going to get baby into the sling. The same as all the other ways, find the top rail and hike it up, but this time I'm going to spread the legs, supporting my baby on top and bottom, and lean forward so that they are in a hammock. I'm going to finish the seat by making it nice and deep. I'm looking for the bottom rail here. There it is. All right. I'm going to tuck under. And um, this is pretty comfortable for them as long as you are supporting their bodies. And you stand right back up and finish tightening. The last way is what my co-leader affectionately terms the magic seat. It is a seat that just sort of happens. I let the baby get into the sling and sit on the fabric. I will show you what I mean. <laughs> I'm going to get his legs through the sling, hike the top rail all the way up, and 
I'm supporting him under his butt as I hike up the rail. And then I'm going to hold on to his butt. Make sure that the fabric comes down past his knees and I'm going to let him sit on the fabric as I tuck it underneath him. Alright, and uh, my seat is made. I'm depending a lot on him sitting, sitting in the hammock to make sure that the seat is made. Alright, you want to make sure that they're pinning the fabric almost between you and him or the baby. Then you can tighten. If I find that the seat is if I find the seat is too deep, then I'm going to find the middle of the sling and push up on my baby so that the weight comes off the sling and tighten just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do the magic seat in real time. Baby's on my shoulder. I'm going to get his legs through the sling. I'm spread out the fabric up to his neck. Let him slide down and sit on the fabric. Tighten up. If I don't like where he is, sitting so close to the rings, I'm going to take my free hand, loosen up a little bit, get it into the sling, and bounce and push him in the sling to where I want. 